Cougars will kick off for South Carolina, the freshman out of Somerville, South Carolina. Antonio Carter also back deep along with Millens, and we are underway. A booming kick that sends Millens all the way back to the end of the end zone. So Alabama will take it at their 20-yard line. Millens in motion on second down. Watts throws it. Hits Millens. That'll be close to the first down, about a yard shy. Third down and one. Four wide receiver. Single setback is Galloway. And it's Tyler Watts who will pick up the first down. Shotgun on first down. Watts fires. Has his receiver to first down for Alabama as Sam Collins takes it out over the 40. Sheldon Brown on the stop for the South Carolina Gamecocks. Second down and 10. Millens takes the snap. Stopped by Rashad Faison. It'll play action. Watts under pressure. Scrambles out. Being chased close to the 50. Dives. Fumbles the football. Brown can't cause a fumble. That was when the ball hit on the ground, it was dead. And they also put him in a good situation at second down and four. <sighs> Here's Millens near side. Millens couldn't get the corner. Big pile up right in front of that South Carolina bench. Four wide receivers. Millens in motion. Watts fires. Pass is caught down at the 10 yard line by Triandis Lou. Couple of tight ends. Here's the option. Watts keeps it. Watts to the goal line. Stop there at about the one. Watts already 28 yards on the ground. Here's the handoff. Galloway, loose football! Down at the two-yard line. Who's got it? Well, that ball came out right away. Alabama retains possession. Oh, remember this drive started at the Alabama 20. Donnie Lau in motion. Watts. Stop shy of the goal line. Rashad Faison stepped up and made the big play. Neil Thomas, who we saw a couple of weeks ago, win the game basically against Vanderbilt with four field goals. This is a 19-yarder. He's six of eight on the season. This kick is up, and it is perfect. Derek Watson back to return the kickoff. He leads the Southeastern Conference by two-tenths of a yard over Freddie Millens at 30.7 yards per return. This is Corey Alexander, however, number three, who's got lightning speed. Flag is down. Alexander fumbles the football. It appears South Carolina has it. We'll see what that flag is, but it appears it'll go against South Carolina. Excuse me, Alabama comes away with yeah. the football. Look, they're still going after it again. Put your helmet back on. Let's try it again. <laughs> Jonathan Martin and Neil Thomas going at it, but that's irrelevant to this point for Alabama because they got the ball inside the 25. Watts, pump fakes, has to run it. He's got some room on the near side. Watts out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Look at the yardage. South Carolina has yet to run an offensive play in this one. And Alabama's had the ball from the get-go, but a big third down. Watts back to pass. Flushed down the pocket. Edwards chasing Watts. He fires to the end zone. It's incomplete. Flag down at the 20-yard line. This will be a 27-yarder. And Thomas is good again. The junior out of Clinton, Mississippi. Wayne Bacon, the former walk-on. Also, we'll see Sean T. Ray, who's back after missing a game. And a flag down at the 28 as Derek Watson dropped the ball. And a one-point advantage for the Tar Heels over the Wolfpack. Watts under pressure, loose football. He goes down inside the 20 at the 19. Loss of 11. Fourth down and 19. Beard. Gets the punt off. Flag is down as he gets taken to the ground. Big down here, they've got to stop him, pull him up short. 
Again, converted two of five third down opportunities today. Loose football. Oh, South Carolina had it. Lost it. Do they have it again? They will give it to the Gamecocks. Jonathan Martin recovers the fumble. Ryan Brewer, far side. Brewer has some space. Inside the 30, takes three or four tied players to finally bring him down. That'll be very close to a first down. I think he has it. Coach Holton wants to get him to pick ball more. That pass is complete at the 20. Cool house backfield. Pennant gets the handoff, the 250-pounder out of Bloomfield, Connecticut. Picks up the Carolina first down. But here we go with four wide receivers on first and 15. Watson met behind the line of scrimmage by Herschel Bolden, a junior from Dothan, Alabama. A 43-yard field goal attempt coming up for South Carolina. Daniel Weaver. Sends it through the uprights, and he remains perfect this year. And his coaching staff, uh, their one goal is to get better every single play, every single week, and I, I think we've seen that. Collins with a catch. That could be good for a first down over the 25, and it is. But they came in to say, hey, coach, only four penalties. <laughs> Pass is caught, first down, Sam Collins. What I was going to say, what they do is you try to make a game out of it. Here's Watts. Catches the corner, Watts into South Carolina territory. Pitches the ball out of bounds. Tyler Watts was looking for the trailing tailback. I'm on Galloway. A gain of 32 for the Crimson Tide. Here's Watts. In the corner. Touchdown, Alabama. Jason McCadley. A 31-yard touchdown strike, and Tyler Watts is in control here in the first half. But you've got to take the pressure off this defense. You've got to move the chains. Pass is complete near side. That goes to Matthew Thomas, the true freshman from Pearson, Georgia, with his third catch of the season. 225-pound junior out of Birmingham. Here's Andrew Pinnock pounding his way for the Carolina first down. A flag, or a couple of flags are down in that. Kendall Moorhead, another tremendous athlete, even with that bad Achilles. Petty. Pump fakes. Has a wide open Scott. That'll be a touchdown for Carolina. He has had a great day. And that rushing yard includes a sack he took of about 15 yards. Watt under pressure. Has some time. Fires. Pass caught at midfield. Carter having a good season. There's Galloway. He's close to a first down. Hard driving run from Ahmad Galloway. A lot of yards have been racked up in this one. We didn't think that uh, that would be the case. No, we thought the, we thought we'd see a defensive throw. Oh, there's another fake. Batted in the air. Picked off in the secondary by Andre Goodman. His third interception of the season. The coaches felt they really had to get him involved from sideline to sideline. They didn't want to make him a, a player that only used half the football field. Fumble on the field, and that appears that Alabama's come away with it. They have. Pinnock coughed it up. And look at Lou Holtz. You think he's not excited? He knows that you can't win when you make mistakes, and those are so critical. His watch on the option. Tries to get the corner and does so. Seven or eight yards on the carry. They've got to force him because if Watts, if he just keeps on turning up, it's going to be a long game. They are just taking the entire crowd out of this football game. Watts fires. Pass is caught by Millens. Millens inside the 10 to about the seven yard line. Goodman on the stop. Couple of tight ends in the game. Jones and Sanders. Here's the option. Watts keeps it. Watts scores a touchdown from eight yards out. The baby steps under Dennis Franchoni are turning into big leaps and bounds today. For Alabama, they go in charged up if they can stop them here and get the football back for their offense. Petty fires. Flags everywhere. Third and 11. 
Petty over the middle passes nearly picked off it was right in the hands of Wayne Bacon he's just getting bigger and bigger he thinks he's like 240 pounds now I'll run it I don't I have not no fear is that pass caught it is Terry Jones jr. looked like he might have kicked it to himself it was a low pass around his feet and a five makes it first and ten and off the Santonio San Beard. That's another first down. That's a blitz right now. Millens with the catch. That's a gain of about eight. <laughs> Watts completes the pass. Alabama has it at about the 33. That goes to Antonio Carter. Millens in motion. Pass caught by Millens inside the 21st down Alabama. Sheldon Brown on the coverage, and Freddie Millens is a factor today. You know what you do? Just keep on going to him. Here's the option. Watts dodges a tackle or two and gets it near the 10. Antonio Beard checks in. Watts now over 100 yards on the ground. Here's Beard. He'll pick up the first down near the five. Kenny Harney on the stop for Carolina. That stops the clock. Now the clock starts running. Interesting. They're, right. They're changing players with under 10 or 20 seconds. They're taking a lot of time here. I can't There's believe 10 this. 10 seconds on the clock and counting. This may be the last play oh, of the first no. half. Oh, and he had to call a timeout. Second largest crowd in the history of williams Bryce Stadium on hand today as Neil Thomas will attempt a 24-yard field goal. He's connected from 19 and 28 already today. Snap is good. Kick is up and good. So Neil Thomas, three for three today. He had four field goals against Vanderbilt and Alabama. Ends the first half with a flourish. 23 to 10 is our first half score. The Crimson Tide faithful loving it. Coach Holtz seemed pretty in control. He's been in, he's been in positions like this before. Oh, yeah. He's seen his team rally. We saw it here last year against Mississippi State. They rallied from the depths of despair to come back. But this Alabama team looks real focused. Loose football again. Who's got it? Don't tell me, Alabama. They're all signaling. Look at them. This has been unbelievable. You ever see 84,000 people hold their breath? Watson stays in the block. Betty goes deep. Pass is caught at the 35 by Matthew Thomas, the freshman. Takes it down to the 21 where he's run out of bounds. Four of them in the game right now. Petty, quick throw. Pass is caught by Thomas. He's about a yard and a half shy of the first down. Dixon on the coverage. Did pretty good at it so far today. That's a T backfield. I see that very often. Watson trying to get the corner. First down. Oh, free play. Free play. Brewer. Dave, I think they can't continue to give South Carolina momentum. They need a couple first downs. McCadley with the reception out over the 30. That'll be a first down. Blake Hawk. Down to one. Watts. Scramble. First down and more. Tyler Watts inside the 40. Down to the Carolina 36. 31. I would be surprised to see South Carolina blitz on this. They had a lot of effect. Here they come. Beard with the carry, and I think that'll be enough for the first down. Who would have thought that we would have 30 points on the board at this point? This is crazy. Watch. Pump fix. Has his man. Is that Millens? Yes, it is. Freddie Millens. That's, a, that's an arsenal right there. Just had Freddie Millens. Now in motion to the far side. Here's the option. Galloway. He can walk it. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. 
Another impressive drive. Uh, it can't go Millens again. Millens in motion. Pass underthrown. Last week, remember, 50 offensive plays for Alabama in the whole game. Here's Jared Watson. He's got a lot of green grass in front of him and a block out over the 50 to the 47 in USC. We need a little bit more traffic here on that. Watson avoids one tackle, picks up eight on the play. Numerous Olympians and All Americans. Here's Pennick. He picks up the first down. Big down here. They've got to pick up first down. They don't want to give up this series. Get the football back to Alabama with the momentum they have. Pressure coming. Patty gets hit as he throws it over the middle. Oh, Murphy. at the incomplete. Oh. oh. Here it is. Fourth down and 10. South Carolina is 0 for 3 this year. From the backside, Petty goes down. Not McKay Osher with the big sack. Hard to pick yourself up off the ground so much of Bill still going to coverage. Tiring. Good point, Charles. Here's Tyler Watts. Fumbles the football. Recovered by Jason McCadley. Millen's in motion. I'll go right back to Millen. Another pump fake. McCadley gets whacked as he made the catch at the 32-yard line. 25 first downs for Alabama. One fumble the football picked up by South Carolina. Rashad pays on with a huge play, and that's exactly what the Gamecocks needed to get it back into the game. Carolina, two of six on third down conversions today. Jenkins has a block or two and picks up the first down. Fake to watch it, and then he keeps it off tackle. Today they put some pressure on Petty as well. Bringing the blitz. Petty lost it up in front of the end zone. Looking for Thomas. Flag down. Thomas got bumped out of bounds by Dixon. Third and goal from the one. Pennick stops shot. I think I play in the line. Go wide. Man. of the season. When they get in trouble, they're going to look to him. They bring him in motion, so he's got that one-on-one. -on -one. If they go decide to run the football, get out of the way, official. Oh! Ahmad Galloway breaks out of the pack to the 37-yard line. He's seven yards shy of the UCLA total. Watts has to spin around. Watts hit from behind. Loose football recovered by Rico Portis, the junior from Pritchard, Alabama. Five yards. Good down to try to hit something here. Hand off to Galloway. And I think he might have hopped real close to that first down. Edwards on the stop. See what he does here. Oh, a lot of time. Watts taken down at the 49. Yeah, he has some time. He steps up in the pocket. Nowhere to go. The coverage was absolutely outstanding. Kendall Moorhead brings Petty down. Please don't fumble the ball. Protect it. Pump fake, Petty. McCadley passes caught it. Incomplete at the 23-yard line. Beard in and tailback. Beard gets the call. Beard down to about the 12. That's going to be close to the first down. I don't know if he got it or not. Jones and Sanders, tight ends, both in the game. Here's the option. Watts keeps it. He'll walk into the end zone. On touch. And Tyler Watts with a nine-yard touchdown having a career afternoon in Columbia. Five wide receivers in the game. Petty, shotgun, gets hit as he throws it. But Brewer makes the catch and picks up the first down out over the 45. <laughs> Petty to throw. Wide open in the middle of a seam in that zone defense. That'll be a first down to Brian Scott. Over the middle, caught. Derek Watson inside the five. And 
Great blocking across the front by the offensive line. Give him time. Watch it to the goal line. Touchdown, Carolina. We got a ball game. That five wide out formation that they used just marched them right on down the field. They didn't allow Alabama to make changes. Point after his oh, pitch. Is no good. Antonio Beard stopped by, guess who? Antoine B. Smith. The second official punt of the game by Alabama. Yeah, Alabama taking a lot of time. Brewer. Dodges a couple of Alabama tacklers and has some room. Brewer out to the 44. They're back in that five wide receiver. They were really successful the last series with that. Oh! Petty pump fakes. Out over midfield, about a yard shy of the first down. Oh, you just keep that ball going. You gotta pick up your first down. You got two downs. There's no Lamar on this drive. Petty tries to run a little Tyler Watts option and picks up the first down. Well, you know what's interesting? They used Derek Watson, number 22. He can play wide out. He's a running back, but he can play wide out. He's a great receiver. Petty with a lot of time. Pass is caught inside the 10. It goes to Andre Goss, the redshirt freshman out of Conway, South Carolina. The it's miracle was whoever chose that five wide out. <laughs> that is, that has really played to their perfection. This is unbelievable. Play action. Petty with a lot of time to the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. The tight end makes the grab. Alabama find Freddie Miller. Third and 12. Watts down at the 20. John Stamper, the senior out of Andrew, South Carolina. And that's been loud here before. This is the loudest I've ever heard it. Get the ground. Incomplete. Carolina will win it. against the wall. That was a dead ball, unsportsmanlike, in South Carolina. How about Phil Petty? You're sitting over there, and you're watching. You're watching the other team's quarterback. He throws for 300 yards, runs for 300 yards. How about Skip giving Dad a hug? They said they were going to open it up offensively, and I don't know how much of the playbook they used, but they put up 37 points, was, which was just good enough. This one will, folks, go down in the annals of South Carolina football history. They break the 10-game losing skid to the Alabama Crimson Tide.